watts of energy does SAS use? This module here, one piece is about 300 watts, but if we add together 3,000 of these pieces, or in the case for American school, we have some 3.3 thousand modules, we are uh, at one megawatt capacity of solar PV. How do you measure the amount of excess energy? At the American School substation, there is a meter which has been recently installed, and that meter uh, has been uh, installed to exclusively measure any potential export into the grid. How do we use that energy? On a sunny day like today, the PV system could be providing close to one-third of the needs of the school. So what happens if it rains or it's cloudy? Well, uh, contrary to popular belief, when it's raining or when it's cloudy, it doesn't mean you have zero output of the PV system. You just have less output. What's the advantages of having these solar panels instead of using um, just general electricity thing? Well, by installing these uh, modules here, the school is pretty much looking into the future. Uh, in 10 or 20 years from today, you will have a situation in Singapore where at least 20% of the entire country is powered by, uh, by solar photovoltaic. On a weekday, when all the students are here, the school uh, would have a, a load of around 3 megawatts. In a holiday, let's say Thanksgiving or Christmas, the students will not be here. So you could have a situation when the load of the school is lower than the production of the PV system for that moment. There will be a flow of green electricity outside of the school into the Singapore electrical grid. And this electricity will be consumed at a nearby building. The school can actually get money from that excess because the school then plays a role of a producer.